Hi, my name is Sujin Musgrave, military wife stationed here over in Germany. Today, I'm going to invite you into my kitchen to watch me make my salsa, which I also turn into a seven layer dip. But people who are lactose intolerant, I can still teach you how to make the salsa, just don't add the sour cream and cheese. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, here's some very simple ingredients. We have some cilantro, we have two tablespoons minced garlic, five onions, we have 14 tomatoes, one lime, and three avocados. With the garlic, put that in the pan. Up next is onions. Great thing to have is a junk bucket. You put all your scraps in it. onions you can see in here you have all these beautiful little grooves and this is perfect for your cutting line just follow the grooves I always turn my onion partially through so that way I don't cut my fingers and when I get to the side where the onions are too small since we're dicing, I can easily just lay this down. You can see this onion, most people would think it's bad. You just take off this nice little top layer. Well, not two, two layers, just the one layer. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Perfectly good onion. So don't be so quick to toss it aside. Now, if you have sensitive hands like I do, they make these awesome little scrapers to just scrape up everything so you're not having to use your hands. Just take all the onions and put them in the pan with the garlic. The next thing we're going to cut up is the tomatoes. Now, you'll see the commercials where you can cut a can, you can cut a tomato, you can cut anything. Okay. Firm tomatoes. See, nice and firm. Butter knife serrated edge. Can't cut a can with this. Don't really need to. My point is, don't buy into the gimmicks. When you get a good set of cutlery, it doesn't matter if it cuts a can. It matters on if it'll cut your food. You want to dice your tomatoes, by the way. When you have a really soft tomato, when you cut it in half, you can just turn it upside down and it's very easy to cut this way. That way you're not smushing it for your salsa, because these ones are a little bit softer. So you just turn them upside down and they cut nice and clean. I just sliced my lime in half. I got it in my little citrus squeeze here. And I put all the tomatoes in. You want to marinate your tomatoes, onions, and garlic with the lime. And let it marinate Why? for about half an hour, 20 minutes before we add anything else in. Now we're gonna cut the cilantro. I'm just getting ahead. Now with the cilantro, you really wanna mince it. The easy way to mince is hold your tip down, just go in a circle. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be the same size. If anyone's gonna pick it out and say, these are not the same size, then say, you don't need to be eating my food. Oh, you can see it's finely chopped. There's a little bit of bigger leaves in there. Not a problem, it's all getting mixed up together. All right, that's marinating. I'm gonna try to get all this into a separate bowl so that way I can start doing my avocados. Everything's been marinating, marinating. I promise I'm not drinking. That's the scary part. Okay, we're gonna add in the cilantro. Just mix in the cilantro. All right, we're back. Right now, even though I just mixed in the cilantro, I'm going to taste it because with everything marinating, I want to make sure that my onions and tomatoes aren't too overpowering. I don't want a scoop of nothing but onions. Mm. 
perfect. Slice down the middle. Give a little twist. Is that a big nut? Whoa! I mean, just take and slowly just go around the peel. These are the softest that I could find. Being over here in Germany, it's hard to get about a cut. <laughs> Avocados all the time. Waste not, want not. So I'm taking this little bit extra out. Then, just like cut and butter, very simple. Because avocado is very slimy, I'm not moving the avocado. I'm moving my cutting board. Scrape it all on in there. And repeat until all, all your avocado is cut. We're just going to mix in our avocado. And now you have some beautiful avocado salsa. Now, I do a little bit different with my seven layer dip. I'll grab out those ingredients and show you how I do my dip. All right, I got three cans of refried beans. If you don't have refried beans or you don't like your refried beans, you can use regular pinto beans that are soft and you can just put them down on the bottom. Now this is a really big container that I'm using because this is for church. And I only ever do one layer of beans in the bottom because that's mm -mm -mm, your mainstay. If I can get the beans out, ah, okay. <laughs> we get a nice even layer across the bottom. The first layer. Pound and a half of cheese. And that I do sprinkle along the sides. There's my second layer. Let's bring it all around the middle. Then we do a layer of salsa. There's my third layer. We push that all around. I have one 16 ounce sour cream and it don't matter that you get little beans on it because it's all getting mixed up it's not the top layer that everyone's gonna see so we got layer number four and we spread that around and then we're gonna do some more cheese Clean up around the sides a little. Oh. Doing this in a Tupperware container, you can do this in glass. Or a trifle bowl is really pretty too, because then everyone can see it all. We do another layer of cheese. How many was I on? Four? There's five, yeah. Alrighty, let me put another layer of salsa. You can do beans in between, I just choose not to. You can see all the 
pretty layers. Then we have the final level of sour cream, which is another 16 ounce container. And I smooth it real, real soft. It will mix a little bit, but I'm not worried because that's where the extra cheese and olives come in handy. All right, I'm smoothing this now with my scraper. And the one thing that I've learned is people either like olives or don't like olives. So that is why I always, whenever I have a dish for a pot or anything, I always have my, I do whole olives. I love olives. But a lot of people don't. It makes it easier for them to move them around. And I have to eat them. Now you can see all the salsa peeking through. But that's where you take your, your sliced cheese and you just sprinkle it around. It looks all pretty and colorful. You don't have like this huge layer where it's just nothing but a bite of sour cream. Mind you, some people like that. But this way it's nice and beautiful and colorful. You got green and red and in a moment we'll have black with the olives. And I just take the olives and just place them around really nice. And that way people don't get overwhelmed with me. Oh God, olives! And that way those that don't like them push them around and those that do, we get to eat more. Here's my version of a seven layer dip. I hope you enjoy it. Mm, I love olives. From my kitchen to yours, remember, when you burn, you learn. It's not the proper way to learn, because you learn what not to do, but it's still learning. Have a great day.